Hey Aquarius, what's going on with you? It's your girl D with Eighth House Energy here to bring you your weekly reading. This is going to be from Sunday, July, um, July. What in the world? What's going on in July? Sunday, January 26th through February 1st, which is a Saturday. All right, so Aquarius Energy. This is a general read. It will not resonate with everyone. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. If you need to reach out to me for a reading, my information is in the box below. The Patreon membership page link is below. There's a contest going on. Um, you need to be a member to join. Uh, I'm pulling six uh, winners on January 31st for free readings. If you want to participate in that, the link is in the box below. Thank you guys for all your love and support, and in the many ways that you support the channel, I do appreciate it. If you need to know what your other uh, placements are, there's a link in the box below. Put in your birth date, scroll down to the bottom of that new page that pops up, and you'll see all your placements. All right, Aquarius Energy. There have not been any real um, major planetary shifts um, since... I spoke to you last. We got some coming up in the beginning of February, so I'll talk to you about that when I do the next weekly and see how that will be affecting you all. Let's see. All right, so I have the Two of Swords coming out here, okay? This is Libra energy. The Two of Swords is all about a decision. Putting uh, so For some people, you're putting off making a decision, for some of you, you are um, you you know you have to make this decision, but you either a don't have all of the. There's a reason you're not making the decision right away. Two of Swords energy is always pondering. Like you have to make a decision, but you ponder things. You could be pondering because you're um, basically just stalling, because you really don't want to make the decision. You could be pondering or stalling because you don't have enough information. You know, and you're waiting to um, get more so that you can make a decision. But there's a reason why you are debating this, okay? Um, it could be that it's, for some of you, it could be a lifestyle change, okay? It could be something that's going to, um, yeah, with fixed energy, you know, as you as Aquarius, fixed energy. It could be something that, you know, you, you have to change. You don't want to, but because of your energy, it's fixed. You know, you're trying to figure out what you can do. Maybe maybe even figuring out how to avoid making the change. But um, it's something that you know needs to be done. And you're trying to figure out what's going to be fair, what's going to be just. How can you go about doing this, right? So let's see what the challenge is in reference to you making a decision. I have the Five of Cups. Okay, so for some of you... This decision involves a loss. Um, it involves um, the loss of a person, place, or thing. It could be the thing, could be a job. Okay, it could be a person. Someone may have um, left your life in some way, shape, or form. Um, it could be um, a thing. You know, um, in reference to you just maybe looking at things differently or changing your perspective on things. And this decision will um, represent you changing your perspective and viewpoint on things. Um, hmm. For some of you, I don't, for a lot of you, I'm getting job. Changing jobs. Only because we have um, all these planets in Capricorn right now, which is all about career assessment, career development, career growth, professional achievements, your reputation in the workplace, as well as your reputation um, outside of work. So this could represent, you know, people leaving a job, people um, retiring. Um, because with the five of cups here, this represents that, you know, with the three below that are spilt, you know, you're mourning a loss, but then you have two here up on your back, meaning that you still have some some things that you have to attend to. But you're focusing on this right now, taking care of this, but you still have other things to tend to. So this could represent other areas of your life that you have to tend to. You may be leaving a job here and leaving, you know, some of the emotional 
um, the emotional um, <laughs> effects that come with you leaving. For some of you, it could be retiring because retiring could definitely put you in this position here um, because this is um, a different stage of life you're going into. So this would evoke for some people um, a form of emotion, maybe depression, maybe anxiety. Okay. Um, but you still have some options here or some things here where your emotions are attached that you have to take care of. Um, let's see what else we get here. So what's the universe want you to keep in mind during this, this decision making process? Um, and with the five of cups also, it's, um, feeling, maybe feeling unloved, you know, maybe the decision that you have to make is one that manifests feelings of, you know, not being appreciated, not being loved, you know, um, swords are, it's all about your head in your head, your thoughts. So maybe it's a thought that you need to let go of, that you're emotionally attached to the idea of something. Okay. Now I have the Hierophant in reverse coming up. This is what the universe wants you to keep in mind. So with the Hierophant in reverse, this is giving me energy of something that is not traditional, something that is not um, th your normal way of doing things. For some of you, again, fixed energy I'm getting strongly. So this is a way, an idea or a thought process. Um, the thought, you're in your head about it, of course, because you're Aquarius. You guys think everything out. It's about um, <clears throat> the logic for you. But the challenge is, is that, you know, you have feelings and emotions attached to the situation. And maybe you're just trying to figure out how to process that. And you just don't know how with the Hierophant in reverse. Um, so the universe could be telling you that, you know, there's no one traditional way to process your feelings or maybe the way that you're looking at them. It's, it's not in a traditional way. So for some of you, it's like I'm getting it's OK to look at things from the perspective that you have because you have a very unique per, uh, perspective. It may not be the traditional way that other people go about doing things. Okay, um, for some of you, you know, this could be you, um, hmm, rebelling in some way with the Hierophant in reverse. The unit, but this is what the universe wants you to keep in mind. Yeah, um, do something different, do something that is not traditional. You know, it's okay to take that step. But let's see what other energy we got here. Let's see where your head is at. Okay, because some of you, you know, you could be changing your religious views and your ideas about something. Okay, and it could be putting you in a position where it's your family is opposed to it. You know, um, the organization that you're involved with may be opposed to your views and ideas or your decision making. Now, your head is with the Five of Swords. Okay, so this is uh, a, this is your energy. So you're in a mindset of this could be you, you know, knowing that something is not good for you and that you need to move away from it. Okay, but it's like you're taking your time with that because there's some emotional attachment to it. So this could be a love situation. It could be a person as well. Um, this could be the universe telling you that this is not um, this is not going to be a, you know, just regular. This is not just a regular decision. This is just not a traditional, you know, typical way of you doing things. It's going to be maybe different. OK. And that, you know, where your head is at right now is what you're doing is not benefiting you at all with the five of swords. You know, it could be costing you emotionally, but right now in your head, you know that this is not what you need to be doing and you know you need to make a decision. Your heart is in a place where you're feeling remorse, you know, you're feeling regret, you're feeling a loss of some sort. Okay, maybe you're feeling abandoned and unloved for some of you and you may be feeling as if, you know... <clears throat> For some of you, you may be upset with their higher self. 
or your higher power or whoever you call God or what have you. Some of you could be upset with that. You know, in your head, you may feel like, okay, I've done what you've asked me to do and it's gotten me nowhere. Some of you could just feel this about a relationship. Okay, and then higher fit in reverse could mean that there's not going to be a serious relationship. Let's take a look at the outcome here. I have the ten of pentacles reversed. So this could represent... Um, Ten of Pentacles to me talks to me about family, being able to provide for family. Um, when it's in reverse, it means that money is coming out of the home is what I'm getting for some reason, shape, or form. Um, pentacles represent to me, they can represent time, you know, the physical uh, amount of time that you put into something. So this could be a relationship where, um, or a job where you put in 10 years and now you're going to, um, you're going to end at that. This could be a situation where it's costing you money. The end it's going to cost you money to deal with, but it's not really the money that you're concerned about. It's the time, the effort, the energy, the emotion. Okay. Is what I'm getting strongly. Now the overall energy for the reading is the emperor. Okay, this emperor energy is Aries or Taurus energy. This is about taking control of a situation. Um, this is about um, maybe someone going out on their own as far as business is concerned, leaving a work situation. And you may be afraid that you don't have the finances to do so with the Ten of um, Pentacles in reverse. Okay, um, and, but you realize that this job or this environment that you work in is just not conducive to um, what it is that you want to do. You know, perhaps you want to do something that's non-traditional. <clears throat> perhaps you want to do something that um, is just unique to you. Okay? But it's like, okay, you know, I have people to take care of. I have friends to take care of. I have family to make, take care of. Or um, I'm going to miss my friends, you know, that I've made here. Or this relationship, in this sense, I'm going to miss this relationship. But... You know, we, we have to separate with the Ten of Pentacles reversed. You know, and it's the decision here again, which is where your head is at. So let's just see. The emperor could just be, you know, someone who steps in and takes control. Okay, maybe they put emotions to the side. Um, but let's, let's clarify. So what do we have for... Let's see, Aquarius. Please turn the volume down if the shuffling bothers you. I'm going to shuffle my cards. I don't want to hear any comments about, can you not shuffle? Or can you shuffle before? No. Nope. Turn your volume down, please. And uh, let's see. So with the Two of Swords here, I have the Page of Cups. I have the Fool. I have the Six of Pentacles. I have the Nine of Cups reversed. Justice in reverse and the Six of Cups in reverse. So the decision, we have the Page of Cups energy. Um, so this is um, maybe you're deciding to step out um, to do something that you truly love, something that is um, really important to you. Um, for some of you, it could be a new relationship, okay? Um, <clears throat> and you're deciding on if that's what you want to do. For some of you, it's about... Um, creating balance in the relationship because the relationship that you're in is not what you wanted. It was at first, but something has changed. Perhaps you found out that the person you're dealing with is dealing with someone else or seeing someone else. That's what I'm getting for some of you. Okay. Uh, for others of you, you're not, you're feeling as if you're not being treated fair um, by the person that you have children with. Um, perhaps you feel that your person is being really immature and as a result, you know, what they're asking you to do or what they're having or what, you know, the decision that you have to make, you know, you may feel that it's not fair. You want to be fair to your children. For those of you who are married, your concern is the children, you know, um, and what they're going to experience, you know, in reference to the separation. So <clears throat> for some of you, this is a job situation where you're not making the money you thought you were going to be making. It's not giving you what, you know, what you wanted. 
All right, so let's see what other information we can get for you. Let's take a look at this challenge here. So the challenge is the Five of Cups, you know, and you're challenged by the emotional piece of it. You having to mourn the loss, you having to move on, you know, you as a fixed sign energy, just making a major change like this and processing it. So we have the Seven of Swords. We have the Three of Pentacles. We have the Two of Pentacles reversed. We have Temperance reversed. We have the Emperor reversed, and we have the Page of Swords. Some of you are in court, you know, um, some of you um, are defending yourselves in court with the Seven of Sword, a Seven of Wands and the Three of Pentacles. Some of you have tried counseling and it's just not worked as well, you know. Um, some of you feel like you have to um, defend yourself against this person in some way, shape or form. You have to take action to protect yourself is what I'm getting strongly here. Um, for some some for some reason now um, another group of you you just don't see any other options like this situation is totally unbalanced and it's just not working anymore for you like you've already come to the conclusion it's just a matter of making the decision as to what you're gonna do about it <coughs> um, others of you I have the Emperor in reverse so this for some of you this is a job situation um, where you're just, you're, your boss is um, constantly micromanaging you, you know, and um, it's kind of stressful for you, it's depressing. Your boss may not be carrying out the responsibilities that he or she um, is supposed to be doing. Um, they could be, you know, um, I'm getting very strongly micromanaging you, just watching you, watching you like a hawk. Um, <clears throat> I'm getting, for some of you, your boss may be leaving, um, which is why you may have the five of uh, cups energy. Your boss may be leaving and you're just trying to um, figure out what's going on. Or maybe you want to leave and you're not saying anything for some of you. You're just not talking about it. But you're feeling like, you know, you don't like your boss. You don't like, you know, how things are going um, in reference to your boss or your relationship with your boss. That's what I'm getting for some of you. For some of you, you feel like you always have to defend yourself against your boss, they're always watching what you're doing or they have a problem with what you do or how you do it and it's becoming um, uncomfortable working here. You know, and, and you feel like your boss has got their eye on you for some reason, okay? Now, the Hierophant in reverse is what the universe wants you to keep in mind. Let's see what this is about. Um, for some of you, you're, um, the person that you're dealing with, if this is a love relationship, your person... Um, may have had children with someone else or you're you're watching them to see who else they're dealing with or you're watching the relationship they have with the person that they have children with some of you may be dealing with someone who's married and so you're spying on this person to confirm if that is the case because you could have found out you could have been dealing with someone and then you're finding out that this person could possibly be married you know, um, maybe they're not living with the person but they don't have a legal separation is what I'm getting for some of you Keep dropping cards. Hold on a sec. <clears throat> All right. So let's see. Hierophant in reverse. This is what the universe wants you to keep in mind. So with this Hierophant in reverse, let's see. We have the King of Cups. We have the Two of Swords again showing up. We have the Five of Cups, but in reverse this time. We have judgment in reverse. We have the nine of swords reversed and the world reversed. <clears throat> so for some of you, you are debating on if you want to continue in a relationship with this person or if you want to take things to the next level with this person. Some of you are not sure. Um... You know, you love this person. You do care for them. You know, there's someone that you feel, maybe for some of you, this is someone you feel is ideal, but you're still not really sure if you want to go that route or not, you know. <clears throat> for some of you, you may be in a relationship with someone, but you don't want to be married, and maybe you just are afraid to communicate that to this person. Okay, or the person that you're with, they really love you and want to be with you, but maybe they just don't want marriage. Or they don't want like traditional marriage or a traditional relationship. 
for some of you, um, with the five of cups showing up in reverse, this is you moving on from a situation after a divorce. So with the hierophant in reverse, <clears throat> for some of you, this could represent a divorce. You know, you've mourned your loss and now you're ready to move on. And so you're just deciding on if you want to start dating again for some of you is what I'm getting. For others of you, it's like, you know, you were communicating with this person for a while or you could have been really um, stressed out about the situation. But, um, hmm, yeah, you're going through something with your partner for some of you, but um, you're debating on leaving, but you still have ties and connections to this person, whether it's your children Um, but it's like with the nine, uh, maybe you separated temporarily. You guys might've separated temporarily. And, um, yeah, for some of you, I'm getting that you separated temporarily with the Hierophant in reverse here. Maybe you just needed some space. Okay. Or for some of you, you may have taken a couple of days off of the job to get your head together. Um, you might have gone on vacation. Some of you might have taken a two-week vacation. Your two-week vacation, you've already taken it. You might be taking it or you're in the midst of it right now, depending on, you know, where you are in this story, if this resonates with you. Yeah, for some of you, your person, the person that you're seeing <coughs> is married and you found out about it. And so now you're trying to decide if you're going to continue to deal with this person or not, or how you're going to deal with this person. And again, some of you don't want marriage. And the person that you're with may want marriage. For some of you, this could be a non-traditional relationship. It could be where, you know, maybe it's two women or two men, or someone could be transsexual, transgender. Forgive me for my ignorance with the terminologies, but um, you know, um, the it could be um, people who are within the uh, LBT. Uh, I forget all the acronyms. The um, that community in reference to people who um, <clears throat> are not interested or have no desire for you know heterosexual relationships. Let's put it that way. So for some of you, it could this could be the case. You're deciding if um, you want to participate in this type of relationship. Now let's clarify this four of, <clears throat> I'm sorry, the five of swords. And see why that's here. Because that's what's in your thoughts right now. So you could be looking at this situation as in it's one that's not benefiting you in any way, shape, or form. Now we have the Seven of Swords reverse. I don't know why I felt I had to show you that one. I didn't show you all the other ones, but Seven of Swords reverse, Queen of Pentacles. So for some of you, this is definitely a job situation. We have the Four of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune, and then we have the Five of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands reverse. So some of you, <clears throat> we found out that this person was married. Or you found out that this person had a child with someone outside, you know, outside your situation. Yeah, some of you found out this person was married. Um, and you're debating on if you're going to continue seeing them. Um, for some of you, this is a situation at your job. You were, you participated in, in a, a situation where um, it wasn't beneficial to you. And you realize that maybe somebody put you in a compromising position at work. Which is why your boss may now be watching you. Okay, it could have been some type of deceit, but it looks like it was something that was done intentionally. Whether this is being done by your boss or your colleague or your co-workers. But yeah, I'm showing that this person, um, you know, was playing games and um, they ended up, you got caught up in it somehow and they ended up getting caught. Um, I also have for some of you with the four of cups and the wheel of fortune that you realize that um, you're just not being valued in this situation. 
whether it's a relationship that you're in, um, whether it is a job situation, like, you know, you feel as if this person is not um, seeing your worth or seeing your value. Uh, for some of you, you feel like you can do better is what I'm getting strongly, that you could try your hand um, outside of this relationship and you could do a lot better because some of you may have someone coming uh, pursuing you. OK, um, for some of you, you realize that you could do better um, working for yourself. You know, that you you're, you feel like you feel and you know that, you know, this is not for you. And for some of you with the five of one, um, five of pentacles and the nine of um, wands, you're you're leaving the job, you're quitting. You know, you're, 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 you're going to step away from the situation because it's not beneficial to you. You know, you're tired of, um, you know, being overlooked. You're tired of, of being micromanaged. Um, you're tired of being defensive, you know, in reference to what's going on or everybody being defensive towards you. Some of you are just weighing your options in reference to what it is that you want to do. Um, you have a couple of options outside of here. One of them is entrepreneurship and doing your own thing and being your own boss. Now, with the outcome here being the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, let's see where that leads. So we have the Hierophant in reverse. So, yeah, some of you are, are separating or divorcing. And we have the um, Knight of Cups reverse. Yeah, some of you are um, leaving a love situation. For others of you, you're with someone who's married and... Um, you're deciding on, on leaving or they're seeing someone outside of the marriage. And then we have the um, nine of pentacles reversed as well as the page of pentacles reversed. Yeah, somebody has someone pregnant. Or there's concern of the person that they're seeing, the person that they're not married to being pregnant. Okay, or maybe you found out that you're pregnant by this person that you um, are seeing and this person is married to someone else. Um, for some of you, you are ready to leave this job. You know, um, you're not happy. You have the money that you need. You're not happy, so you're going to leave and find something else, um, some other financial opportunities. So for some of you, you are, um, you know, you're just going to leave. You decided that you want a passionate new beginning. And for some of you, you're not going to say much. You're just going to just dip out with the Knight of Swords reverse. Um, you're not going to say anything. You're just going to bounce. You're just going to leave. The, the infamous ghosting of the uh, Aquarius. <laughs> yeah, you're just not going to say much. You know, you may say a little here and there, but you're not letting people know what your plans are. But you're already you're already out of here. And for many of you, you're, you're doing your own thing with the emperor energy here. So let me get you some advice from spirit and see what we got for you guys. There's a couple different storylines. So please, again, take what resonates, leave the rest. If you would like a personal reading, my information's in the box below. Aquarius. Nightingale spirit. Love is all around. We have number 41. Okay, so 4 plus 1 is 5. The number 5 major arcana is the Hierophant. Okay, so for some of you, again, this is about love, relationship, marriage. All right, so let's see what spirit's message is with Nightingale spirit. Okay, so with Nightingale Spirit, it says, uh, In the darkness of the night, Nightingale Spirit sings her song of love and hope, a harbinger of dawn, to remind you that the sun will soon rise again. Okay, uh, you are so loved, and the illumination song of the Nightingale Spirit calls you to a new level of self-awareness and connection with the light. Yes, there is shadow and darkness, but love and prosperity exist everywhere, even in the seemingly emptiness oops, uh, of space, darkness, and a, starlit, and a starless night. Hearken to the message, letting the music of the Nightingale's song remind you that love is all around. Feel it and trust in tomorrow's light, renewing your ability to recognize that the spaces that appear empty are filled with love and abundance illumination will happen soon so for some of you who are really feeling depressed about this again with the five of swords i'm sorry the five of wands energy here 
oh my god i'm sorry the five of cups energy here um this is for you um those of you who are feeling very um down about this situation the universe is saying don't worry you know um I do have the five of cups in reverse showing up too. So you will get over this. Okay. You will get past this emotionally. It might be a little tough to deal with right now, but please keep your head up, keep focused. Um, and, and, and you'll get through this. You will. Um, the cards are telling me that you will sooner or later. Okay. Yeah. It's a bit depressing. Let's see what else we got for you. Okay. Let's get some other advice. That's for some of you see what other advice we have for others we have the number five it says uh attachment interesting number five is hierophant energy again okay hierophant this could be about tapping into your inner self your spiritual self as well so let's see what this card represents here now attachment says in the upright position this card reveals that your passage forward is being stopped by strong attachments to old patterns or people from the past. The chain at your wrist is bolted to fear from the past of desperation about the future. Although you may wear the mask of pretense or even contentment, you simply can't seem to go forward. The stuff that's keeping you stuck could be physical addictions, emotional patterns, or even old relationships. Are you living in fear, addicted to old, unhealthy habits? Or so desperate about the future that you can't be happy now? If so, the chains that bind you could be out of your own making. This card is telling you that it's time to take action you need to take to break out of the chains and move forward to an open, free, healthy, authentically happy life. If you take, or it may take some courage and effort to let go, but know that you are capable of doing it. Until you do, the difficult energy will just repeat itself, keeping you stuck. So for some of you, you need to make this decision. This is why we started off this, this card, this whole reading with the Two of Swords. You have got to make a decision because other than that, you're going to drive yourself bonkers. It's time for change. Everybody's going through some type of change right now. It's planetary. Um, out of old ways, like I was saying earlier with fixed energy, you know, it's time for you to make that change. If you don't, it's just going to keep rattling you until you do. So make that change when you're ready. Now, for those of you where this is love, it says boundaries um, are needed now. So for some of you, this relationship, you just, you got to put your, you got to put your foot down for your sanity. Stability. The relationship can stand the test of time. So for some of you, you're just going through temporary things. That's for some of you, not all of you. And you may work this out. Another group of you, strictly sexual. Uh, the connection is passionate but not enduring. Um, this could be um, someone, like I said, may be married or they just don't want marriage with the hierophant in reverse. They don't want a traditional environment, a traditional relationship. Okay? Guys, let me know if this resonated with you by clicking the like button or leaving a comment. You know I love you and I hope that this message helped you in some way. I love you guys. Peace out.